Dr. Thomas Dobbs says there are a number of students and teachers across the state newly diagnosed with COVID-19. 295 new cases among students and 164 new cases among teachers and staff. The number of school-related isolations and quarantines is significantly higher. We do have a significant number of children under quarantine, 4,601, and teachers, 448. Dobbs is applauding school district's efforts for implementing coronavirus prevention plans for those students attending class in person. He says the goal is to keep kids in class and educated. But the health department is providing more details on schools that have seen COVID-19 outbreaks. We are publishing the numbers of uh, cases in quarantine and outbreaks by individual school, by name. Uh, this is something that we had anticipated w would happen. Taking a look at the numbers here in the metro, according to the health department, three schools in Hines County have one to five teachers who've tested positive for COVID-19 in the week of September 21 to 25. Madison also reporting three schools and Rankin County reporting six. Health officials say they're giving that general number to protect personal identity. As for students, two schools in Hines County have one to five students who've tested positive for coronavirus in the same time frame. The number climbs to six in Madison County and doubles in Rankin County with 12 schools. T's Troy Johnson reporting from home tonight and Dr. Dobbs says there may be some schools that do not show up on this list by name. And why is that? That's right. Dobbs says that they did not get reports from several schools across the state, and he's encouraging parents to reach out to their child's school and make sure that they submit that data. Keegan.